Today, you're gonna pick one sheet of paper to be your background. Think about what kind of sky you wanna have. If you want it to be something like a sunset, you're probably gonna think about what kinds of colors you're gonna see at a sunset, such as purple or pink or orange or red. If it's during the day, you probably wanna pick a color that's blue. After you've sat down with your paper, you're gonna put your name on the back. And you are my second grade class in whatever letter you are. Flip it over. And the first thing you're going to do is everybody's going to start with white, no matter what. And at your tables, I have these little clothespins with sponges in them. Gently dip your sponge in, and you need to print that sponge all over the background. I'm only going to do it about the top three-fourths of the paper. I don't need to do the very bottom, because that's going to get covered up by water later on. So I'm doing about three-fourths of it, printing it over and over and over. All right, so I've finished printing my background. Notice I didn't have to do the very bottom part. Like I said, that's going to get covered up by waves. I printed white all over it. Then you're going to pick up your paper and you're going to go to another table. Each table has its own color. So if you go to the red table, it has red. If you go to the orange table, it has orange. And you need to print two more colors all over your background. Once again, think about what kind of sky you want to show. If you want something that's going to look like a sunset, think about the colors that you will see. But I do white first, then I can move to the colors. Alright, so I'm finished with my red. Now I can do my last color. I'm going to do orange on it. Alright, so I'm all finished printing. I did white. I did my two colors. You can see that I did red and orange. I'm going to set this off to the side because I'm not actually done yet today. Next, you're going to get back either your shaded paper or your tinted paper, depending on which color you did. You're going to take your strip of paper and you're going to cut it in half, right down that line. And your partner will do the same. Then you're going to take your strip of paper and you are going to tear it down the center. So I'm going to take two finger, or two hands. One hand's going to push away, and the other one's going to pull towards myself. And I'm going to tear. Be careful that you don't tear it all the way off the edge of the paper. If you need help tearing, let me know, and I can help out. So I get two strips, as you can see. One of these strips is going to go to your partner. So now you each have a tint. You need to do that to both of your colors. Once again, give the extra one to your partner. The shade person doing shades is going to do the exact same thing. They need to tear their paper down the center. Give it to your partner. And give it to your partner. The last thing that we need to do today is we need to take those strips of papers and glue them down to our background. I know that our background's wet. Typically, I wouldn't want you to do this. But today, we're going to give it a shot. So you're going to start with the dark color because you want it to go darkest to lightest. Remember, it's opposite of our haunted house project. So it's going to go dark, a little bit lighter, little bit lighter to light like this. So I'm going to start with my darkest one because that's in the back. We don't start from the bottom of our paper. We start from the top or the middle, I suppose. And you're going to take some glue. 
you're only going to put glue around the flat sides. Only around the flat sides. Today I'm not going to use dots of glue because we're going to need a little bit extra glue. I'm going to flip it over and glue it down. Notice I'm gluing it about halfway up my paper. Just like this. Line it up with the edge. Looks like one of my sheets of paper is a little bit shorter than the other. So we might have to trim off the edge at the end of the project. The reason I only put glue along the flat edges is because we're going to curl those waves later on. I can do the next one just like I did the last one. I'm going to put some glue along the flat edges. Not along the torn edge. And I'm going to overlap them now. Lining it up all the way to the edge of my paper and gluing it down. Just like this. I got two more strips to do. Right. When you get this far, you're done for the day. Remember that first you printed your background with those clothespins and sponges. You start with white, then add two more colors. Then I cut my tint or shade sheet in half, and then I took each of those little strips and tore them in half again and gave one half to my neighbor, and I kept the other half for myself. Lastly, I glued them down, starting with the dark in the back and working to, towards the light. Remember that the dark goes about halfway up your paper. And then I worked my way to light. Lightest should always be at the bottom. Lightest should come last as well. These go in the drying rack when you're all finished.